What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of JR and the Crew, man. And yes, we are right here at the Plaza West Covina in the city of West Covina. Plaza West Covina in the city of West Covina. Well, check it out, man. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode. I really appreciate it. But look, man, I just want to share something real brief. You know, a lot of people are always asking me, you know, hey, JR, or, you know, you're changing up the show a lot. You're doing a lot of different things with the show. And, 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 I'm not changing up the the, the, the the pretty much what I do. Uh, what I'm doing is going in a direction that I've always wanted to go into. And I, I love to inspire people, give a lot of information out, uh, motivate people. And, and, and that's what it's all about, you know. And when you find your niche and you know what you're good at, that's where you got to begin to start just, just tune into that and begin just to move in, in, in your gift. Because a long time ago, and uh, somebody told me, you know, hey, man, uh, they got feedback saying that uh, – I actually got feedback that me and Jimmy were being a, a little too uh, in, like kind of inspirational type stuff. But my background is is about that. You know, I, I love to encourage people. I love to motivate people. And I'm hoping that the shows are motivating and encouraging you guys and actually even giving you guys information about other people. Because, you know, sometimes some of the things that we do, you know, um, it does uh, feel for us. And those that are podcasters, vloggers, and people that are doing their thing out there, you know, sometimes it does feel repetitive and we're just doing the same thing, the same thing. And I just had this conversation with, with Jimmy. It, but, you know, I have to begin to remind myself that the reason why I'm doing this is because I love and, and we love and enjoy, you know, putting people in, in the chair and letting them share their story about their business, about their talents, about their gifts, and about, about what they're doing in the community. And that's what it's all about, this platform. Form, you know, and I know a lot of people are out there hitting me up. You know, they want to come on the show and and, and they want to be, you know, their music and stuff. It's like this. Let me share something real quick before we get bring on a guest. It's like this. And everything, if you're a filmmaker, music, uh, artist, or whatever the case might be, you got to find out what the industry wants at that moment. The problem is, it's not that I had to learn this. Like when I was when me and Jimmy first started, we wanted to be filmmakers. And one of the best advice someone gave us, a millionaire, right? He said. A lot of people create what they want and want people to go out and accept it. But they don't understand that the market might not be looking for that at the moment. And that's what we need to understand. So certain podcasters, certain uh, radio stations, anybody, if you're out there and you're creating right now and you want your music or your movie or whatever it might be seen, the best way or the best thing to create is what they are looking for. Because in every market, they're looking for something. Find out what it is, go create it, and get on the radar. That's what you need to do. Because, like for myself, I'm going in a different direction. I'm going in a certain direction, and the direction, yes, I'm bringing on the people that I'm. I'm actually going into that direction. So find out what direction certain people are going in. Submit yourself to them. And if you need to create at the moment things that get you in the radar, then you create those things. Because look, you'll get there faster. I gave advice to this to somebody a long time ago. I told them, look, do cover. You have a great voice. You're not getting picked up right now. Nobody knows who you are. Do some cover music. From there, people will got, they'll like you. They'll begin to start sharing you, but you'll get your numbers up. And then people will start wanting your own music, your music. And that's what we need to do, people. So hit me up. Let me know uh, what you guys think about this because it's the truth. If you're a filmmaker out there, call the studios. Hit them up. What is? What do they want at this moment? Go create it and then propose it. Because sometimes, yes, we're proud of what we created, but right now it's just maybe it's just not the time because the market's not looking for it. So, hey, man, this episode is brought to you by Black Widow Investigations, man, your legal team. So make sure you guys like and share Black Widow Investigations. If you guys get in an accident, motorcycle, bike accident, you know, family law, criminal law, hey, Uber, Lyft, make sure you guys call Black Widow Investigations. Also, Black Widow Cycle Guard. You need a warranty, call Black Widow Cycle Guard. We also got SGV.now, your San Gabriel Valley News, SGV.now. Make sure you guys go like and share uh, their page as well and get more information about the San Gabriel Valley. And Mikey Boy Apparel. Make sure you guys like, share Mikey Boy Apparel. And our new sponsor, we got JM Car Service. If you're out there and you want to go to SoFi, you want to go to a special event, and you don't want to order an Uber, make sure you guys call JM Car Service. I'll put their Instagram right below. And you guys make sure you guys call them up and they will take care of you. All right, Tom J on the cruise head. But hey, check out this Chicano Spotlight brought to you by Chicano Hollywood. Go like Chicano Hollywood. They got a special event coming up real soon. So hey, check out this, the, this Chicano Spotlight.
What's up, Jay and the crew? I'm Bethany from Chicano Hollywood, and for this week's Chicano Spotlight, we want to talk about an amazing art exhibit that's happening in LA. The iconic, the legendary Mr. Cartoon has had his first solo art exhibit. It was incredible. We had the whole Chicano Hollywood familia pull up, and it was just so great to see a room full of Latino creatives celebrating Chicano art and the legend that honestly started a lot of this. So check this out. What's up, everybody? Welcome back, guys. Look, man, I have a great guest, and uh, I'm very grateful to Juan with RTMK for bringing on this guest, and I'm really excited. I didn't even think you were going to make it, but you made it. I know. I was so. kind of wondering if, because I was kind of late, I was like, they're probably thinking I'm a no-show. Yeah, actually, I did. I had to text Juan. <laughs> but let's welcome Teresa to the show. we got got uh, basically almost a supermodel, man. I mean, your, your Instagram and everything, you're doing very well. I, I, uh, so I like to do my research, like I was sharing with you earlier. I like to do my research on people and, and stuff, and uh, seeing that you've been involved in a lot of things, you know, doing a lot of things, a lot of projects yes. and stuff. So, real quick, but where are you from? I, I, I was like where I grew up. Yeah, uh, I grew up in Chino. Oh, right here. Yeah, because you just say you were from Covina, right? Co uh, oh, we have a house in Covina. You oh, live yeah. in Covina. In Covina, right we here. We just recently moved. I would say like a year ago, or maybe two years ago. Oh, that's not. And long now long. I live near Temecula. Oh, okay. We're out there. The wine. Yeah. But now we rent this house, so it's like investment property. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. I, I like that, too, because you make some good money, man. Yeah. And we're going to build an ADU on there, too. So what? I know. Nice. See? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anybody looking for her? <laughs> hit up know, Teresa. Eric, <laughs> Teresa, Erica. Hit her up and stuff. But no, this is amazing. I mean, so, I mean, you grew up in Chino and stuff, mm -hmm. and you've been doing a lot of modeling. I seen that yesterday, too, on your page that you were actually in a music video as well. Yes. Doing a music video. So you've been mm -hmm. keeping yourself very, very busy. I, yes and no. I took like a two-year break from modeling, and then I brought it back um, with, do you know Jimmy Humarda? Or Humilde? Yeah, 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 him. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, he booked me for a car show maybe a few months ago, and he brought uh -huh. me, I would say, like, out of retirement. Oh. And so since then, I've been, like, doing bookings and stuff. But I took, like, a two-, three-year break from any modeling stuff. Well, what, what was that? What, what, um, just... I guess just things with my husband, we were trying to like, we were trying to adopt and we were just oh. trying to build a family. So mm -hmm. my focus, our focus was on that because he, we used to have a modeling agency together Oh, interesting. and we let that go. So okay. it became our focus just to like build our family, make that happen. So then that's all we were doing. Mm -hmm. And then now that we're settled, the kids have been with us for about two years now. Oh, wow. Yeah. We just adopted them. Uh, I would say July 7th. Mm. Um, official adoption because you have to foster them before you can adopt them mm -hmm. so we just closed that and um i've just been working more and i have more free time and you know now i can have a balance of being a mom and working if I that's want amazing uh, but like you said you're building your family because you took hiatus a little bit because you want to build your family yes. focus on your family mm -hmm. that's a great i think a lot of people want to know that this is that how does like someone like yourself you're out there you're in music videos you're doing car shows i mean um and, and you're in bikinis you're doing the the whole shoots mm -hmm. and stuff how does your husband take that <laughs> seriously you know it's funny because my husband's actually the one that really got me into the car scene uh -huh. um there was like extreme auto fest we used to live at the anaheim angels like right where the angel stadium uh -huh. is there's a apartment complex right there okay so we lived right there and the extreme auto fest was in the parking lot and i wasn't a model yet and he was i mean i did some modeling but like barely anything and he's like put on a little bikini bottom <laughs> and like show some <laughs> under boob and go take some photos and he took me out there and literally it like made a name for myself that was like wow i had so many photographers photographers around me i had um i won the bikini contest and then that after day that, yeah what just going like telling him that he, he told you to go do that and you went yeah and i hell? just hit it like it just i don't know what happened and then um after that i was getting booked by 4g auto and like all these sema like all these crazy car shows and it was just because of that event and that's uh -huh. kind of how i got into the car scene that's crazy because like me I, i'm sorry i'm old school I, I am old school i can have people look at my chick 
So I'll be like, hey, dude, ch chill, bro. Chill, you know. <laughs> what are you doing, you know? I mean, he has his days. He has He's his a days. man. He's a man. Does it depend on what you're wearing? <laughs> Is that why? Or? Not so much what I'm wearing, just more of like what I post. Um, oh, okay. But not what I'm wearing. What I'm When I'm going somewhere, I'll show him like two outfits and he'll choose like the slutty one. <laughs> He's like, the see-through one where I can see your nipples. Yes. <laughs> Um, what? Yeah, I'll be like, what? Really? And I'm an introvert. So I'm like, really? Like, everyone's going to be staring at me. He's like, if you're going to make a statement, then. Make Wait, how statement. are you an introvert? But yet you're doing modeling know, in front of a lot of people. It's so confusing. That is confusing. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> like, I always want to be at home. Anytime I do anything, I get social anxiety. Surprisingly, mm. I didn't get anxiety coming here. What? I don't know why. I was Wait, like, did you think a lot of people are going to be here or something? No, I just get anxiety doing anything. Like, oh, interesting. anything that's not at home. But why is that? Is it, is it from childhood? Did something happen? No, it's like new. I think maybe when I started building a following on social media and then mm. all the like trolls and the hate. And oh, then yeah. Now it's kind of like everywhere I go, I know someone's looking at me and saying like, oh, this is that person. And then I feel a lot of pressure to look a certain way because there's a lot of influencers that don't yes. look like their social media. Yes. And I try very hard to look like what I look like online. You said a key point right now, too, because I just read it to somebody a couple of weeks ago. They said that. They said, I am tired of having to live and look as what I post on social media. I just want to be me mm -hmm. and stuff. It, it, so that, is that what you're trying to say now? That a lot of people I mean, not are not so like much. Like, I can go out and just look like a bum. Like, I don't have a problem with that. I'm not, like, insecure about that. But when it's an event or something like I always have like I got my hair and makeup done just for this because I'm gonna be on video and it's like people are gonna see it you yeah know? yeah and to me I want to present myself a certain way but like if I'm just like at Walmart or Target I don't care like <laughs> you see how you see so Erica what? Yeah. hey no it's happened to me before oh, someone's what? like can I take a picture I'm like um, okay <laughs> sure Wait, how does someone like you I, I, okay he, he, he you say that he kind of pushed you into it and stuff but you did modeling before yeah like I started modeling um I would say when I was 18. Okay. And it just Oh, you're like 21 now? I'm 28. Oh, Thank you, okay. I, I didn't expect you to say your age, but all right. She said her age. What? 30 is no, like the new 20, so no, I'm still young. Yeah, right you now. still look young. <laughs> and I just turned 28, so. Oh, okay. All right. Happy Thank birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Um, my sister found a photographer at a park shooting like quinceanera looks or something uh -huh. like that. And that's how I started modeling. So, like, as soon as she's like, oh, my sister will look great, like, you should book her and then he started booking me for like jewelry shoots and like he worked with a dress company and mm -hmm. so that's what I started doing and then from there I just started doing like amateur modeling okay I mean I've had some bad experiences and then I had some good experiences but amateur modeling is but what are some of the bad experiences like the people trying to take advantage of you or over the situation uh yes and no like you're kind of naive to how it works right mm. so you go into the situation just believing what the photographer says that you should mm. do and what you shouldn't do uh. and I or are they telling you they have a good camera, but they show with their phone? Uh, I, I haven't had something like that before, but I've had, like, when I was younger. Obviously, now I show my body a lot on social media. Like, mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with it. But when I was first getting into modeling, I didn't know any better. And I feel like a lot of these photographers got me naked just to get me naked. Oh. And I didn't know. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, and it happens to a lot of girls. And that's why now I don't even really shoot with photographers because iPhones do it all. Yeah. And, and your husband, he's right there with you. Yeah, he shoots. He takes most of my photos. But if not, like, everyone has, like, all the face apps, face tune mm -hmm. things, and it looks like a professional photo. I, yeah, I have to admit, iPhones now, I mean, people don't even need anything any type of any, camera anymore yeah You're, that's why when photographers they're like let's shoot and i'm like uh like why waste my time go all the way to you <laughs> just for some photos that take two weeks and yeah then i'm still gonna edit because you don't edit the way i like to mm -hmm. be edited and then and and with your whole photography uh, the, the modeling and stuff um before your hi hiatus and stuff, I mean, were you is that something you were doing consistently or was it just still like oh, I'm gonna um not i was a trainer slash model so i was training clients um i would say about like eight years okay so maybe when i was like 20 i started i see you have a personal training trainer page right page? yeah so i used to have a gym actually in covina oh, shoot. It was called california fitness yeah wow. i had to close right. because i moved but okay. it was cool it had like epoxy marble floors like black Dang. i know it was it was like a little gym boutique it was very and you only closed it because you moved yeah I, yeah um it, i closed it a year ago what? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we're, we're from right here. No, Citrus and San Bernardino. Yeah, yeah we're, we're from right here. That's why. Yeah, Citrus and San Bernardino. You would see like my big sign and like yeah. my, yeah, that was me. That's my gym. <laughs> oh, man, that sucks. Yeah. 
Wow, that sucks. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy said he stopped going there because it closed down. <laughs> was it an all girls gym? Or you no, um, I so trainers would rent the space to train their clients. Oh, so it was a lot of personal training. There. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean we had memberships as well too. Um, it wasn't a big space, but it was everything you needed. It was nice. I liked it. I miss it mm -hmm. because I got to use my gym every day. Well, yeah, you were like, shoot, I get to go work out. Yeah, and I'm an introvert, so I hate going to public gym. <laughs> I hate public gyms. Like, you will not catch me at a public gym. It's very rare. No, I do. I hate it. I have a gross story, too, but I'm not going to share it. It's someone that <laughs> caught something in their eye. Someone told me that they caught something in their eye because of their, their freaking... No, I can't share it. It's gross. They caught... Well, they caught, like, an STD in their eye because they laid the towel oh my down gosh. on the seat. Yes. Oh, my old nail lady, she got, like, this huge, like, rash from, I guess, like, the treadmill or something, like, putting her oh, arms Oh, putting her arms, yeah. Yeah, and it was, like, all, like, disgusting, like, ringworm. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, it was my nasty. God. That's why, like, now, I'm glad because um, the gyms now have the spray bottle. So, I actually, yeah. they say, oh, could you please spray after you, leave? You, you, you know, you, you use yeah. it? I, I actually spray, spray before. before yeah. And I do the courtesy and I yeah. do it after. Sometimes they don't do it after because I'm like, well, shoot, I sprayed it before. So, like, who cares? Yeah. Yeah, that's on you now <laughs> if you want to do it. Yeah. But yeah, no, that's crazy because, yeah, that's some of the things that you, oh, man. Oh, so. I just don't like public gyms either. There's just a lot of people and I get a yeah. lot of attention no matter what I'm wearing. Obviously, my workout clothes is very sexy, but <laughs> if I don't dress sexy, I still okay. get a lot of attention. But let's talk about that. Then why wear it? Because I love it. Like, it makes me feel confident and I like to work out in it. Imagine when you go to the gym, you're looking in the mirror. You want to look at yourself the best version of you. But you while you're know it's attracting the, even the people that you don't want it to attract. But that's why I haven't been to a public gym in like years. So, ladies, listen. If you don't want the attraction, go to another gym <laughs> or home. They have an all women's gym. There's I've seen a few oh, of those. Yeah, and then just like private gyms are better. But what happens now? Now you got the lesbians looking. <laughs> but I'm like, the lesbians don't look like that. They don't go like, mm. no, they're more respectful about the, oh, the guys are like, they're aggressive. Even with me, they're like, hey, you go like, hey, calm down, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, don't go that way. No, say. But you get used to it. Like, yeah, I, I haven't got used to it yet. So I don't know what you're talking about. My husband always says, like, you don't see those people looking at you. Look at, look, look. And I'm like, I just like zone out everyone. I just uh -huh. don't even pay attention. But he'd be like, look at them. They're giving you dirty looks. Or look at those guys. They're checking you out. And I, I don't even. But I make it a point when I go to work out, I do not look at the girls. That's like, good. I, I, I'm serious because I don't want them to feel like what you just said. So I actually want to give them that respect. Yeah. But in back of my head, I'm like. They, but go home. Come on. Because yeah. then you see the, the older guys and then they're like. Mm -hmm. And I'm just laughing because I'm like, uh, no matter what. I you're, mean, it's hard not to look. I look like you're squatting in front of me. I'm going to look. <laughs> I'm going to look. Or know what I hate good. the most is I, it, it, it's just funny. I, I get on the machine and I start working out. And then the girl goes in front of me and she starts doing the squats. And I'm like, really? Come on, girl. Like, I was here first. I was here first. Respect my space. Yeah, respect my space. I respect your space. You respect my space. <laughs> what we're going to do, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we got Teresa in the studio, guys. We got a lot more questions coming up. So we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Norman Carter from the Delphonics Experience. Catch us every Wednesday at 9 a.m. with JR and the crew. It's a great show. Don't miss it. All right, everybody, we are back, man, and I got Teresa in the studio. And my question is with you is this, because we're talking a lot off camera as well, mm -hmm. but you say that your husband doesn't really get that jealous. But what is one of the incidents that he did get jealous of? I think he, when he, he acts like he's jealous, he like says it's fake jealous, but I know it's some type, like uh -huh. you don't say something unless you somewhat mean it. Right. Um, so like just me having a lot of guy trainers, is something that he'll say. 
the guy like, trainers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because I a lot of my friends are trainers, so uh -huh. like they'll train me for free. So I go and they're he's just like, oh yeah, I'm sure they'll train you for free. <laughs> you know? I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, discount, huh? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna go work out. I'm sure. You know. <laughs> yeah. And it kind of gets annoying because I'm like, no, for real. Like I'm really gonna go work out. Like. Mm -hmm. My trainers know I don't mess around. Like, you're going to go train me. Right, right. And so that's why it would bother me because I'm like, you know I take working out serious. Like, I'm not over there just looking pretty. Like, <laughs> like I'm I'm here to work. So that's why it bothers me. But th that's something that he would joke around with. But mm -hmm. is it true? I don't know. Who yeah. knows if he's really dope. So but, but how, how does a woman like you, you're you're out there. Yes, you're, 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 you're in your bikinis because you're, you know, you're doing the modeling. You're, you're the lowriders. All that re requires that stuff. And the guys are a dime a dozen. But how do you stay focused? Like in the I'm sense working? of like I'm married, because there has to be. I mean, like there's eye candy I turn everywhere. Down people. Yes. I mean, I don't really meet that I mean, many attractive people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there hasn't been so, that. Hey, hey, all right. <laughs> if they're not better than me, it ain't happening. <laughs> I mean, I haven't met a lot of people that I'm like, oh wow. Really? I mean, I meet people with money that try to throw it at me, but uh. like, I don't meet people that are like. Wow, you're super attractive. It's very rare. Interesting, because you're in the workout industry. I see a lot of attractive guys. I mean, they might have muscles, but their face is not cute, or their personality is <laughs> like, I'm like, oh. Or, or they're like, wow, that guy looks good. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, you're like, what, like, the, <laughs> what the hell? You have a Mickey Mouse voice. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Wow, that's crazy. No, I mean, I'm just saying because, like. But you know what? I don't even like the muscle look. Like, my husband, like, he acts like he gets jealous. Dad bods like, all day. I'm like, I don't like super muscular. Like, the crazy build. No, I just want, like. A Dad fit, bods. skinny, somewhat muscular, like, well, like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she likes father figures. No. I no. mean, I don't like fluffy, but I like. <laughs> no, I but like they did. Fit. They did do. Uh, uh, there's, there's a lot of YouTube where they did a lot of statistics on like they asked women, you know, do you guys want a guy who's cut up or, or dad bod? Mm -hmm. It was like 95 percent said dad bod. You know, they yeah not. Dad bod like over, yeah. but like you know where you could tell he's a little fit. He's a little fit. May yeah. have a little bonsai. It's like fit fat. Yeah, fit yeah. fat. Fit fat. Fit fat. <laughs> yeah. I know what, dude. I'm making a new hashtag. <laughs> fit fat. It is fit fat from now on, guys. We I really see that like all the time. That's like our number one word. We'll see somewhere they're like, eh, they're like fit fat. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We're creating a lot of new things here. I love it. Well, that's awesome because uh, you know, I mean, how, okay, so you you got. From, but how did you get to meeting Jimmy? He just DM me. It, wow. Yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. Sorry, Jimmy. I don't no. know. I'm just no, because that's, that's how it works. I mean, sometimes I DM people. Oh. Jimmy, why you be DMing oh. her, bro? Just lived in my DM. I don't know. <laughs> her husband's helped the tour, bro. He's gonna come get you right now. No, no my husband was so excited. What are you talking about? He's like, what? Like, that's so cool. <laughs> I love it, but you know what? That's what's that's that's what you need. A husband that I mean. Yeah, you guys might joke around. Maybe he, you know, guys, men, we, we do get jobs. But then I've known a lot of men that do love to showcase their women. You know, their yeah. wife or their, their girlfriend or like, this is mine. And they don't mind like, hey, this is mine. And, and showcasing them. Because me personally, I can't do that. I, I wouldn't be able yeah. to do that. I'd be like, because I, I am old school. Like, hey. Because I remember back in high school, I had a girlfriend. We went to the beach. And I was like, all the guys were looking at her. And I was like, you need to cover up. You know, and she's like, what? what? I'm not doing anything. I, go, I don't care. Put your T-shirt on. I've met a few couples like that, and it it's so insane to me. I'm like, she's just in a bikini. Like, everyone's wearing a bikini. But right. But it's like, no, she can't be in a bikini, you know? And it's that's just, I, I can't imagine being with someone like that. Because even before I was with my husband, I was already wearing, like, short shorts and, like, mm -hmm. little crop tops. So for someone to meet me and be like, you need to stop wearing that. I'd probably be going crazy. Yeah, I'm okay now, but I'm just saying. Back in the day, I was high school. <laughs> because you mature after after a while, you're like, ah, oh, whatever. Because you you know, at the end of the day, I mean, I I, I believe you have to be a you're, for your husband to trust you that much. You have to be a really strong woman. You know, what I mean, I, that's, that's how I look at it. You mm -hmm. know, because if your husband's trusting you that much, because uh, you are. He just always told me like I'm just not a jealous person, mm. and I can't say in past relationships because we don't really like talk about him being jealous in that way but he's just never been jealous in our whole relationship well how does someone like you make him secure knowing that you're like, i think he's just like that oh shoot okay it wasn't even me like i mean i obviously haven't done to make him feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. but like he's just always been like that so okay. since i met him he's always like dressed sexier like 
oh, if I gave him two options, he would choose one that like showed more. Mm -hmm. So he's, so he's kind of like your manager. <laughs> in the beginning, he was. Oh, shit. Yeah, in the beginning, he was. But now he's just always like, if you're going to do something, make sure you're making a statement. Make sure you stand mm. out. Like, make sure, like, don't go mm. do something half ass. Like, mm -hmm. if you're going to go to an event to network, then stand out and everyone remembers mm -hmm. you. So that's like his point of view. And is this, is this something that you do full time now? Is like, or are you now just a, a mom, but you do this side, or what? What, what, what do you do? So for most work? of my income comes from OnlyFans. Oh, okay. And then I just do bookings here and there because I charge more than what I used to. Mm -hmm. um, so people don't book me as much. Um, but I make enough on OnlyFans. I don't really need to. Like I could pick and choose if I want to book you. I don't have to take it anymore. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. No, a lot of people do OnlyFans, and your OnlyFans, what is that? Is it very like they get to see? It's porno. Oh. <laughs> With your husband? Yeah. Oh wow! Also, oh, he's cool. Yeah. He's cool. So is, is, there's no Adam Twenty Two type stuff happening? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna be on TMZ right there. And shh. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's wears like a suit, so you don't know who it is. Oh. <laughs> No, that's cool. I mean, uh, at least you're doing something with your husband and stuff. But I, I, then that's fine, you know. And, and and I'm just saying, like, but at what point did you feel that? Now you're your only fans, but even with the modeling and stuff before that, what kind of were you like? Hey, I'm gonna use what I got to start doing what I need to do. I think um, I just really been about my body. Like always, mm -hmm. I've always had a nice figure. Um, I've always been athletic, like showing my body was like my, my greatest asset. Like that's, that's what I love. I love mm -hmm. my legs. Like it's my best asset to me. So like, I feel like it's so easy for me to make money off of it because I know that it looks good and I, it's my favorite and it's like what I work with. That's why my husband's all the time. He's like, you just know how to sell sex. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's so easy for me to do it. Mm -hmm. Like even when I'm covered up, I still look sexy. So mm -hmm. it's like hard not to sell sex. Um, but I mean, that's something that we do talk about too. It's like, okay, when are you going to let this go? Like you're mm. getting older mm -hmm. and I agree, like I am getting older. So I had my gym. So we're talking about like maybe opening another gym, but then I see my friends that still have only fans and they're like 45 still making money because there's a niche for everything. Yeah. People like crazy things. Yeah. So I'm like, do I really have to stop soon? Like uh -huh. I'm only 28. I probably got like 10 more years. In me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I could probably. Yeah. I'm like too old. No, I'm 28 <laughs> years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I mean, their moms, too. They're still making mm -hmm. money, you know, and you can make a lot. Like, I'm not saying I'm making the most, but I make a, enough for me to be happy. Mm -hmm. um, I have made more before where I'm like, that's achievable. But it's so much work that to get there. Mm -hmm. um, but I do have friends that make like 50K a month, 100K Damn. a month. Damn. Yeah. Jimmy, we're in the wrong business, man. Uh, Except the cameras. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good business, but like you have to really put effort into there. I've never made that much of money. But, but I think to be able to do something like that, you, you really have to be secure in yourself as well. Because, I mean, I don't think it's something that any just anybody could do. Well, definitely you have to have confidence. There's a lot of people that mm -hmm. don't like showing their body or like look at it and be like, I would never wear that. Right, so right. If you're not comfortable with yourself, there's no way you're going to do that. What, Unless what you point? do a foot page. <laughs> <laughs> they pay for that. <laughs> I've heard like that's like the like a big thing. Yeah, I'm not into fetish. things. Oh, like, yeah, so nah, when people ask me for that stuff, I'm like, Ugh, like that. I just don't like that. Yeah, but, like, come on, there's yeah. all better stuff that you ask for my feet. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Like, what? If somebody wants to see. <laughs> <laughs> no but seriously i'm like that's weird but some people only have like foot pages and they make money just showing their feet that's interesting this is a very interesting thing you know and, and, and so that, that's kind of cool so you doing things now what has been the like the best modeling gig that you have ever had the best um that you're like excited for that one like it was a big event or I got paid well. Like there's different things like something I got well, really the best paid well. That's exciting. And then like a good event. I was excited about working SEMA because that was a big show. Um, anything, any bookings with like they pay for the flight and the hotel. Like that makes you feel cool. I mean. Well, what was, okay, what was the one that you did, you said like, Matt, okay, this, oh, I can't wait, man. They're flying me out. They're doing this. Oh, my God. This is an amazing one. I guess. Recent, I can't even think of my old ones because I, I don't remember. But recently was Jimmy's. Um, that was like a big booking because he mm -hmm. paid me a good amount for the first car show. And then the next one, he flew me out and then he booked my hotel and everything. So it's just nice to be, mm -hmm. you know, that model that gets full everything. Even the food was taken care of, you know? Yeah. So that's um, a great booking. So that <laughs> stuff like that's like that's what you want every time. Yeah. No, and you don't get that every time. No, you don't.
So uh, to me is like, I, I, you, you, you have a lot of followers on uh, Instagram. I don't think I do, but thank you. Yeah, you have a lot of followers on Instagram, <laughs> and and and, but uh, you seem like a very confident woman. And, and that's great, you know, but how did you become that? Because there had to be a lot of negative comments <laughs> to get the, a lot. Of, and how, how does someone like yourself, do you read them? Do you just delete them? Do you block them? So I, I will start like way back. <laughs> it all started. It all started. <laughs> <laughs> In high school. Okay. Um, I wasn't liked very much by the other girls. Mm -hmm. And I know I talk about it a lot. Like, I always tell people, like, I was kind of bullied, not bullied. But, like, if I told wow. you a scenario, like, it's bullying. Like, mm -hmm. straight bullying. Um, I should tell you a scenario, though. Yeah, tell me a scenario. Yes. So, the one I don't forget is it was, like, the first day of school. I just started doing the modeling. It was my senior year that I started modeling. Mm. Um, that photographer, we did, like, a pinup look thing, and I was so excited. Like, I love the pictures. And um, one of the girls took my photo from Facebook and sent it to everyone in her contacts and wrote, you better watch out. There's a troll on, on campus. Wow. That sucks. That's real bullying, That's right? bullying, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, because she's calling you out as something like you're yeah. gonna go after all her, all the men. It's like something. those movies that you see where everyone gets like a ding, 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 ding. Yeah, and then Mean Girls. Like, yes, yes, yes. Wow. Yeah. And, and, and what happened? You just, it just, well, um, any young girl would just kill you. I mean, it was horrible. It's embarrassing, but I was also really known at school too. Like I was in varsity sports. I was like mm. president of my class or vice president of a class. I was in leadership, so like, I was in the like popular group but i was still like picked on mm. so it wasn't like i was like this nerd everyone was treated bad like no everyone was friendly but i still had those haters that would like treat me a certain way right there was even this time i remember um i was walking through a hallway and these these people were throwing stuff at me what like a straight movie why would what, you do i don't know like i'm always like a hoe i had like i said i always had big thighs big butt like i grew up with like a nice figure and for some reason everyone just thought i wanted their man or like i was trying to fuck with their man or their boyfriend wanted me or something so this I was is all in chino yeah at don lugo <laughs> don lugo <laughs> dang yeah so i was always picked on now you all look at me now oh let me tell <laughs> so like when i first started getting following they would start sending me dms like oh look at you dude i'm like don't even good for don't, you yeah don't even try. you're all bit. <laughs> don't even try like some of them still follow me and stuff and they'll like dm me and i'm very short like i just feel like i don't need to connect with anyone wow i stay away i try to stay away from cheeto completely that's crazy before we go but my my daughter wants to be a model but like more like hollister and all that mm -hmm. type of stuff because I, I don't think i'll let her be a yeah, but <laughs> an Instagram model. <laughs> yes, and she kind of wants to do it now, but she always wanted to do it. So my daughter's really pretty, mm -hmm. but I, I think because of what you just said right now is the reason why she didn't want to do it while she was in high school, because she didn't want to deal with that. Because as she gets bookings or she's doing mm -hmm. something, the girls can start hating on her. Yeah, and then it's high school's like the worst. Yeah. Like, Worst critics. The worst. They are mean kids. Like mean. Like if people people say stuff now, they're trolls and everything. Mm -hmm. But now it's it doesn't matter. I'm an adult. Like I can give a fuck. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm getting paid. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. Like Hater. you're hating because yeah. you wish you were me. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. But in high school, you're so young and like that stuff. I would go home crying, and my dad would be like, "It's okay. Like they're just jealous of you." I'm like, "Why? Why are people like this to me?" Mm. And it was very difficult for me, but it made me who I am, and that's why I feel like I have a tougher skin. And that's probably why I don't make a lot of friends either. Ah, keep your circle small. Yeah. That's good. So we're going to be right back. When we come back, we got Teresa. We're going to find out what's going to happen next. What's next with you? That's what we want to find out. So we'll be right back. We got Teresa. What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, JR, with JR and the crew. Just a quick announcement. I know you're probably scrolling right there, right now on the toilet, in your restroom at 7 a.m. in the morning. No, I'm just kidding. But look, don't forget to contact your legal team, Black Widow Investigations. Uh, you hear me always saying it, you know, criminal law, family law, you get in a motorcycle accident, even a car accident, or maybe you, you need some legal advice. Call Black Widow Investigations. They are waiting to take care of you. When other lawyers say, hey, there's no chance, man. You have no chance to win. Call Black Widow Investigations and let them know that JR and the crew sent you. All right, everybody, we are back, man, and we got Teresa. 
And real quick, because everything that you're doing right now, I mean, you're doing uh, the modeling, the OnlyFans, and you, yeah, like you said on the break, that you most likely get asked this a lot, mm -hmm. but because you have two children. That because you I recently just adopted two adopted children. two so children. It's like a topic. Yes, it's a topic of you probably especially because one of them's a fifteen year old. Whoa, oh, whoa! I thought they were younger. No, I have a fifteen year old son and I have a three year old daughter. What? Why? Why that difference of age? That's just, just the way it came in. You, you wanted an older. Their brother and sister. Oh, nice, nice. I'm like that's just when they were born. I don't. No, know. no, 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 no. Because sometimes you know they don't want to separate them. Because I had I had a brother, a half brother and sister that were both. I in mean, foster. we could talk about it too because people always ask me. So they're not my husband's kids. They're not my kids. They're my niece and nephew. They come from my sister. Oh, okay. That, my husband oh. can't have kids. Not me. So everyone that keeps saying that I can't have kids or I choose not to have kids because I don't want to ruin my body, it's a lie. Okay. Hey, we got that out of the way. <laughs> All right, you hear it right now. <laughs> no, no. That's understandable and stuff, and and, and I was just saying that because yeah, my my half brother and sister they were they didn't want to separate them, but no, that's awesome. So you actually took in your, your oh, kudos to you, kudos yeah. to you. So do they your fifteen year old since your aunt slash taking care of them now? I mean, how how does that conversation come out? Because I mean, as you get as they get older, they get more curious. They start asking questions. What do you do for work? Blah blah blah. All this stuff. Yeah. It we brought it up once, and he said that his friend's parents were asking, like, what I did for work. <laughs> and he's just like, I don't know. Like, mm. I don't know. And I always just tell him, just say that, like, I'm a stay-at-home mom or something. Uh-huh. Okay. No, that's easy. Until the dad finds the only dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until the dad's like, hey, oh, Teresa, you come over anytime you want. You want to come over for dinner? <laughs> I always get so nervous, too, because, like, my, we met a family from my daughter's daycare, and uh -huh. um, they came over, and everything was, like, fine. And then we had a big Halloween party for my husband, and it was, like, slutty. Obviously, everyone's in, like, hoochie. And I didn't invite them, and they uh -huh. saw it, I don't know how, somewhere on social media. And um, they were like, why weren't we invited? I was like, well, <laughs> like, I was, like, technically, like, naked. I was wearing pasties and stuff. So oh I was like, I don't want to see my... <laughs> Like daycare. Yeah. Like, what? That's not something you combine. <laughs> like, I'm a mom to yeah. your eyes. <laughs> no, hey, yeah. It's like keeping it separated. You know, yeah. you got to keep it separated. And that's why people have their private accounts and then they have their business accounts. And then right. That's like when, like, certain moms, they'll ask me, like, oh, what's your Instagram? And I'm like, oh, I don't have one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any social media. <laughs> but, you know, I have to look like this. It's just a question. Is... But why? I mean, shouldn't you be proud of what you do? I mean, I just get a vibe from people, you know, like, and mm. I don't want someone to judge my child based off of what I do for work. Okay. Not well, that yeah. what I do for work changes who I am because Correct. it doesn't. I'm still a good mom. I still am a good person. But if you go on my page, you literally just see ass and tits. Like, yeah, yeah. So people might look at, like, oh my God, she just wants attention or something. Yeah. And she doesn't know what she wants, blah, blah, blah. So have you ever done this? I have to ask this. Like, you do a full pose, and you said, you know, Jesus loves you. Have a great day. <laughs> I mean, I should. Oh, what the heck? Because that's what you see all the time on Instagram. I mean, they're trying to be real positive. Like, really? Jesus loves me, and have a great week? <laughs> no, I don't care about don't care. that. <laughs> Why not? I had to ask and stuff. But I mean, I love me, so I that's, love enough. Me. <laughs> that's enough. So what is the future for Teresa, Erica? What's the future for you? Are you going to open up another gym? I mean, what's your future? When, um, I mean, you're, you're 28, so I mean, you only got a couple more years, they said. Excuse me? <laughs> That's excuse what they said. Me. That's what they said. I didn't know. I didn't say it. So what's the plan um, for you? I don't know. I mean, we're just taking it step by step. We just, like I told you, we just moved. We bought a bigger house. Um, mm. That was a year ago. Um, I closed my gym a year ago. Kind of happened all at once. The kids moved in a year ago. Um, the adoption finalized. Are we in July still? Yeah, okay, we're in July. So it finalized this month. Oh, nice. Um, so I feel like we're just kind of going into the groove of what's going on with that. I don't think I'm going to open another gym. Okay. Um, Maybe like a personal uh, online training? No. I, it's no? too time consuming. Like, mm. it literally takes all your time when I make enough money where I don't want to waste my whole day on trying to train someone. On or, nutrition and all yeah, this stuff. And, yeah. And, no. And, Having an income where you could do whatever you want it's it's hard to go to like a job or like to try to make a career out of like something my husband has a career like he got his master's degree he has a professional job and everything mm. but before that he was just on social media so mm. it was like a big change for him but i don't see myself doing that like interesting 
I have so much freedom right now. Like, how am I? So much freedom. So what does a day look like for you? Alarm clock goes off. Probably doesn't even go off, but you wake up. <laughs> <laughs> and then you do what? It's um, all this freedom. But now that I have the kids, it's different. Mm. So I have my routine in the morning. I get my daughter ready for school. I take her to school. Um, my son's on summer break right now, but when he's gone... Um, I'll like do my workout. I wake mm -hmm. up, drop them off, uh, do my workout, and then I'll go tan by the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, hard life here for <laughs> Teresa, guys. That's like, hey. um, I'll probably do some videos for OnlyFans, mm -hmm. some content for Instagram, because you have to do it like for all social media yeah, platforms. Yeah. Um, and then I might do some chores and then cook dinner, and then that's my day. Pick up the kids. Okay. That's good. What do you recommend? What what works best for you which social media platform works best for you well instagram is my favorite because i have like three hundred thousand friends yeah but that's not a lot though that's i feel like that's, that's a not, lot it's not well not compared to izzy it's not a lot <laughs> <laughs> tiktok knows <okay. laughs> but but tiktok's easy to grow on i told you that yeah yeah, yeah. um but like I said, I lost my TikTok and then I had to build a new one. It's already mm -hmm. like growing. But yeah, Instagram is my favorite platform. But there's, I'm always shadow banned. Like I'm shadow banned right now. Serious? I'm always shadow banned. Always. 24 7. Always shadow banned. Well, how, wait, wait, how, wait, someone reports you? Yeah. Or my, I mean, my posts are pretty, ah, pretty yeah. intense, you know? So um, I just get shadow banned a lot. So it's hard to grow on Instagram. So all the haters just reporting you. Without reporting TikTok. You. TikTok sends me a lot of followers from it. You know, right, it's you attached that, there. You, yeah. yeah, you funnel that platform right to your Instagram, yeah. and then it goes to my OnlyFans because the only links fans. in bio. Yeah, dang, dude. So and then you out. have no manager, nobody managing. This is all you. All me. Dang. Um, <laughs> Cisco, you call him Juan, though, right? Juan? Yeah. Yeah, Cisco. He said people call him Cisco. I don't know. I don't know. RTMK. Okay, so Juan. <laughs> um, Cisco. I mean, he talks about like. Oh yeah, I seen you. Yeah, that was doing weird. like managing for me and stuff. He booked me yesterday for the music video. And Who was that with? I don't know. I don't. <laughs> She was just um, <laughs> pretty much. Who are you? I don't know. Just, just keep asking. Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just wait. No, but hey, um, all right, yeah. I didn't know Cisco. What's up, man? No, but Juan, yeah, Juan, RTMK and stuff. He's a really good guy, man. He he's he's all about networking. He's all about getting out there. Yeah. He meets a lot of people, and, and once in a while, he'll bring people here to the show and stuff. So, but I'm glad he brought you and stuff because. Uh, I had a great time, man, learning a little bit more about you, what you do and stuff. And I hope a lot of people understand what you do as well. And, and the hating has to stop because it's what you want to do, you know? I feel, oh, we never answered his question. Oh, what was about, his question? Um, how the kid's future is with my career or what oh, I do. Oh, okay. I mean, people ask that all the time. Right. But I feel like we're in a generation where so many people do it. I don't think it's a big deal. No, I'm not saying that my son doesn't know what I do. I'm sure he kind of has like an idea. Yeah. Well, they're smart. They're, they're, the kids are smart. Yeah. And social media, it's. Yeah, so I'm sure he knows, but I mean, I don't see it as a well, big don't deal. Be surprised when all his friends want to stay overnight. <laughs> <laughs> you know that song, this like Stacy's mom? I always think that oh. his, his name is Jesse. So I'm like, Jesse's <laughs> mom has got <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Can I stay your house? <laughs> <laughs> he has like 10, uh, 10 friends staying the night. Like, hey, guys, pool party at the it's house? It's like that, though. Like, I drop him off at school, and they're like, whoa, there's no way that's Jesse's mom. <laughs> <laughs> they never said about my mom. <laughs> no, but no, that, that's good, man. I mean, at, at least you guys have a, 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 a really good balance, it seems, in your house and stuff. And, and like you said, now you're focusing on the family, building the family, and that's the most important thing, you know? And, and, uh, but do you plan to, I mean, because, you know, everything does come to an end. I mean, I, I, it yeah. is what it is. Everything comes to an end. This comes to an end. Everything comes to an end. The show's going to come to an end, you know? So what is your end, though? What does it look like? I think our main focus is just, like, getting investment properties. So okay. we have our rental, I told you, in Covina. And then we're looking into, like, getting another property and just, I, I feel like real estate is the best way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's, like, our main focus on, like, where we want to put our money at. Okay. That's good. And is there anything else you want to say that maybe I did not ask you that you want to give a shout out to? I mean, subscribe to my OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys. I mean, she needs more for those late night <laughs> <laughs> after hours. What's the OnlyFans then? Uh, TeresaErica dot com. Teresa Erica. And where can they find you on Instagram and your social media platforms? TeresaErica underscore. 
for Instagram and Teresa Erica underscore two for TikTok because I lost my first account. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. And um, much success for you. Thank you. Much success. Keep scrolling and looking at my page. <laughs> oh, my God. You're giving me trouble, dude. <laughs> oh, God. I never did. Never <laughs> did. It's for research only. No, so, <laughs> but hey, thank you so much for coming on, man. I'll see yeah, you guys honey. next week. What's up, everybody? I hope you guys enjoyed the show. But look, just a few things before you go. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching the show. We really appreciate it. But it's all about you and you helping us get the word out about JR and the crew. So, hey, don't forget, every Wednesday, 9 a.m.